please somebody help me out tell me what the milwaukee bucks are doing please tell me what is going on with the milwaukee bucks we have we have to be honest chat the milwaukee bucks have had this team together what four or five years now at the core uh they added drew holiday but you still have Giannis. you still have brooke lopez you still have some of the guys that were there originally um what the hell is going on the bucks have only won one game what are they one in three to start the season not exactly how they want to start to be a top of the east a very competitive top of the east i think this year you're looking at like either it's either going to be the chicago bulls or um the orlando magic taking a jump the chicago bulls are kind of loaded uh guard wise i think that it's, they're running into some issues as far as like uh off ball movement, spreading them all around, everybody getting touches, but they're still competitive. Obviously, the Sixers are waiting to get healthy again, but expecting to win over 45 games. And, you know, you have the Celtics at the top. They're a formidable foe for them. The Raptors have a, a pretty decent, the Knicks have a pretty decent roster. The Cavs have Donovan Mitchell and Mobley and those guys. So the Bucks starting off like this is a bad sign. You got rid of Moody Holder. Why did you get rid of, rid of booty holders? Because nothing's gone well for them since they got rid of booty holders. Nothing. Um, I think the whole league has figured out Giannis as far as him winning, you know, his his dominance equaling winning games, and he needs to adjust his game. He has to become a guy who can score from the mid range. He has to become a guy who at least attempts one or two threes per game. This whole passing up open threes to bulldoze your way to the basket is not happening every time anymore. The league, usually, you get two years to three years to do stuff like that, kind of dominate, just doing one thing before the league forces you to add a counter to what you're doing or, or change up what you're doing. I don't see Giannis doing that as of yet. Um, and maybe, you know, they're not in the best shape yet. You know, who knows what the reason is for this slow start, but they're losing to teams that you expect them to beat. Um, as a as a title contending team, as a title contending team, you don't expect the the Bulls to be one and three. I mean, the uh, you don't expect the Bucks to be one and three if they're a title contending team. So it's kind of confusing. I'm not really sure. Maybe there's no urgency. Uh, maybe there's a little lag from the Olympics. You know, their main players being in the Olympics and you know having to deal with that. Um, I want to see them lean more on Bobby Porter. And Brook Lopez kind of take the load off of Giannis. Kind of make it to where Giannis can be himself in the fourth quarter and doesn't have to, you know, do 35 and 15 every single night. Because, you know, it doesn't matter who you are. He's already faded at, you know, what he put his body through so far in the league uh, in his career. And uh, I think it says a lot about how they're starting the season. I don't think they'll be under 45 games unless, you know, Unless they reach the 20, 25 game mark and they're under 500, then we have major, major issues. But at the rate they're going, either a coach is getting fired, somebody's getting traded, somebody's getting shuffled around, something's going to happen, bro. Because there's no way the Bucks are starting this bad and you have a player like Giannis Antetokounmpo on your team. You have guys like Drew Holiday, Olympian. Um, you have guys like Bobby Portis, who I think man of the year runner up. Um, you know, I, I don't really know, bro. I, I don't really know. I haven't watched the full game. I've watched maybe 75% uh, of most of, of two out of their three games. The other game, I probably watched half of it. It's hard to watch. They're not really the uh, the, the best team to, to watch as far as aesthetic is, is concerned. So they have to figure out what their system is and what they're going to do this season because it's only going to get tougher, bro. The league has so much talent in it. I'm finding that, you know, it, it's a lot less predictable than it's been for the last over five years, you, you really, on a night-to-night -night basis to start a season, can't predict what's going to happen. Who, who's going to do it? Who's going to be have the big game? Or, you know, what team is going to win against the team that they're not, I guess, not expected to beat? So keep an eye out for the Bucks, bro. They have a, a, a really interesting stretch coming up here where I think it's important that they get their shit together, y'all. Um, you're looking at Giannis not being happy and I think he's become a much more vocal player, a much more vocal man as he's getting older. And uh, it could be bad things ahead for the Bucks. It could be a breakup headed for the Bucks. Um, at least a coaching change. At the very least, a coaching change. So keep a lookout. Uh, the Milwaukee Bucks are starting off the season in trouble. Uh, the head coach is 
on the hot seat. I don't even want to see the head coach's name because we know that he is not ready to be a head coach in his league, and they did it anyway. And now you see what's going on. Now you see, you, you take away Darvin Ham, you add J.J. Redick, and look, 3-1. and one. And, and the one loss being a, a game that they totally had went, won, I think that uh, the Lakers lost last night to the Suns due to just over, like J.J. Reddick said in the post post game conference, overwhelming mid-range shot making by Kevin Durant and Devin Booker. And there's not too many teams who can do anything about that. So keep on the lookout, man. Interesting season so far. I think some teams are really going to have a surprise year. And, and I say that meaning some teams are going to be better than we thought and some teams are going to be much worse than we thought. Some teams are going to have to retool their roster around the all-star break. Um, that's the NBA show for today, guys. I'll be back with a little more NBA news. I'll be